Music has always been very important to me. My mother was a singer, so I used to go to the theatre to see her sing. It's influenced me a lot. And I'm part of the generation in London that absorbed all the influences of America I made all the bands, and I had a band, you know, I was a singer in a band for a little while. And then after that I had a blues club. So music has always touched me profoundly. And my paintings have a kind of musicality that's very interesting in this regard. It's almost as if they are the fusion of the visual with music. You know, I'm thinking a lot about my life, my history, my son, my uh, friendships, or Ireland, or China, and a lot of emotional turmoil is taking place while I'm working. It's what I call emotional rubbish, you know? And maybe it gets recycled into a painting. <laughs> Abstraction was to say everything at once. I like very much the forms of minimalism. And I like very much the structures of the contemporary world. Somebody once compared my work with Lego. And I think that Lego is, is fantastic material because it's endlessly regenerating itself. You can do anything with Lego. It's passive and it's just entirely receptive to your imagination. This is what I try to do with my work. Ultimately, it's the oil paintings that I really love. I can say unequivocally that the exhibition in China is the most important exhibition I ever had. To show in Beijing in Kaffa, you really are showing in the, in the brain of China. And that's what I want, because what I want to do is to influence cultural situations with my work. I want to influence independent free thinking. If you're showing in the brain, the headquarters, which is what Kaffa is, you are in direct contact with all the student body and all the intellectuals and they're the people that are making Chinese culture.